Dusty's best friend over there. Eleanor leaving the cubes just to go hang out with him. <laughs> Rooster just ran off those bison. For everyone curious, yeah, Lumpy's still kicking it. We still got Lumpy. He's good. He's still limping and he's still lumping. Or is he still limping? It's not near as bad, actually. Um, he's got his hair for the winter and stuff, but it's just hard to see him obviously so um i think my wife and i made a decision what to do with him had a lump date up a lumpy update lump date <laughs> i like that <laughs> the goldfish still making it goldfish are still there they're getting bigger they're about a six or seven inches long Still living the dream in the water tank. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of crazy. Not big guy. Well, she would get bigger. Huh? You know it? Stay healthy for me. I don't know why I didn't have these three tied up on the top strands, but I probably was letting them settle to find out where they laid. I don't know what I was doing. It's probably in a hurry to get it done so I could get them out here, which is the fun and exciting part, but sometimes I'll, I let the strand settle so you can find its even place. You can count the, uh, the studs on them, which that's what we do 99% of the time. I don't know why I do but I'm doing it now. You can tell that they don't care to get out, so. <laughs> A fence not all the way tied up. They don't care. You keep them happy, they'll stay in. They need a bell of hay, too. I just realized. Spoiled girl just wants to be hand fed. Yeah, she does. Okay. You know Eleanor's getting some cubes today.
I have caused this problem. That's what she does. You have to watch. Get. They don't got no feed. No, they they think. Maya. Chill. Dumb bar. I do not have any. Food. There's a barley bag down in there. It's kept this this sucker's clean. It's there's stuff settled down at the bottom of it, but Dunbar. I don't have anything for you, brother. It's not for you, bud. No, Dunbar. Here's that package. Thinks he's gonna get some. Hey, I don't have anything for you. Yeah. Yeah, company right there behind you. Crew. The original. The old fish don't drink at all. Dunbar herd's looking good. Yeah, same thing. I mean, calves are a little bit more susceptible because pull them off from weaning, and that's a stressful time for them. And if they can see the herd, they always want to be back with mom and dad or whatever they want to be back with the herd and so it's a stressful time for them to be in the weaning stage and they're more susceptible to catching things over the winter or parasites um, they've been wormed and so that's uh, something we always do but winter time can definitely start to put some stress on your body and the weaning stage so for the adults it's not as bad their immune systems built up a little bit better they should they should be able to handle winter which most bison do so it's the fluctuations that can get you it's the temperature change dramatic temperature change that's hard on them so when you have three seasons in a day yeah in oklahoma we do so it's uh really cold or really hot and it can change fast but other than that they're doing good they uh some of them are looking pretty pregnant and we still got a couple months we should have babies in May. We hope to have babies in May. April would be nice, but we typically don't have babies here in April. So maybe someday we can, but we uh, we don't yet. So Some critters that are surprisingly handling the storms and the weather really well are these little guys. That's right. Old goldfish. We need to name them. You can tell they've been eating at the bottom of the tank. Look at that. Uh, they're little sucker places. That is insane. All the freezes, all the hot temperatures of the summer for multiple seasons. I think we started with 24. 24 goldfish. I think 24 goldfish is what we started with. Yeah, I think we started with 24 goldfish. And there we go. Yep, and they need names. Like a little couple, a little pair. They Bonnie look and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Yeah, they can't get on the run though, because they can't go very far. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, something else. Somebody got caught. <laughs> well, let's go get them some hay, I guess. Very thankful, but. Not even going. Oh, you're going there. 
She's seen better days for sure. Oh. Greg. It's lifting now. As you're driving, it's getting a little higher. Well, tractor's seen better days for sure. Yeah. Coming up, Dusty. He destroyed that. I guess he spread it out for him. Didn't he? <laughs> you gotta love Dunbar. Just some charisma and just uniqueness about him. Not as big as Big Joe, but has a lot more personality than Big Joe does. Alright, I guess that's my cue to head back if I don't want to get left out here by myself. Hey guys, we are, uh, we're gonna get out the bolt feeder, it is empty, so. Time to fill it back up for our uh, feeder bulls here. Got our boy Lumpy in here. 
So we're gonna go in here and get this. See how Lumpy's doing, check on him. Yeah, look at the Eleanor's bull. Nice, it's a nice little bull. He's got some sharp horns. Well, one sharp horn. <laughs> He's a character. <laughs> Space, y'all. Oh, he's trying to have a little bit of fun. Empty guys. Just a hair, like OJ's glove. <laughs> <laughs> today. Getting some now. Oh, Lumpy. You another lump date? Yeah, so Lumpy is, uh, he's doing okay. He's got his winter hair, and um, he's, he's for the most part, he's healthy. He eats and drinks, and he's just a normal bison, minus the basketball size um, hernia on his. Uh, on a stomach there we've we've done the work for lumpy we've we've gone to oklahoma state and got our ultrasound on him i've got advice from two different vets and um it, to be honest with you it's not worth having surgery on he's not going to be a, a breeding bull by any means you like guys probably obviously know that um, um we took him and we got him checked out to see what we could do if it was possible i've, I've already explain that i've already taken him to oklahoma state to the vet clinic got an ultrasound on him i've done all that come on buddy well, my wife and i basically decided that we are going to uh, a custom slaughter place and uh, we're going to donate him we just think uh, that's the best thing for him and we hate to see him uh, in the condition he's in it's just not what you want to see um, a bison live their life with and so um, unfortunately this is this is pretty much our only choice. Um, if his hernia did cause his death here, then it, it, we'd be in a tough situation and he would just be... It, You're waste. It, he'd be wasted and he would be put back into Mother Earth, basically.
somebody could take him and he could live and go and graze for as long as he as he could um but he's going to keep dealing with that and some people say take him to an actual real sanctuary um and and places like that but he, they're going to do the same thing if he even gets fed he's going to graze grass and he's going to eat hay um those are the things that he does here he'll be vaccinated in the spring he'll get his dewormer shots and vaccinations and uh he's uh he's treated like the rest of them we we know what this condition he has but um, you can't send him anywhere else and, and he could live his life out but he's going to live it out with uh with that hernia as part of life and stuff happens um most of the time uh these animals wouldn't have lived this long and uh, he was living on a cattle uh farm i say living that's where he showed up he wasn't living there he was just currently there and uh, that's where he was dying yeah that's where he was and it was better off that he was here than at a cattle farm uh, where he may have not have (laughs) been uh you know maybe hand treated like this um as much so um, he had eventually stressed out and probably died um, eventually and uh, these animals can't handle being alone he needs to be with bison he doesn't need to be with cattle he needs to be out here with his brothers and sisters cousins whatever you want to call them that's where lumpy wants to be and that's where he should be so that's where he's been and we've taken care of him we've given him feed water and hay and grass and all those things and so um, vaccinations we've done everything for him that we could possibly do for him and um, he's better off with bison and he's still alive probably because he's still with bison and uh, it makes him feel a little bit more um, at home and whatnot even though he's at the you know bottom of the total pole but that's just part of it his condition so he's uh he's still living a normal life minus a minus a massive hernia there on the side so He's been good to us, so. Y'all have been good to him. Tried to be good to him, and it's uh, it's hard to see him live like this. And we need to, we need to do something soon. So. Off to greener pastures, to bison heaven. Bison heaven, yeah, for sure. And it'll go to a good cause. And Again, like something else could happen, and if he got too far along, then his meat's not. Yeah, if he, if viable. he dies, if he dies out here. Um, then you can't, there's, (laughs) it'd be very difficult to take him to a slaughter place and try to even get in a a processing facility that fast to process him. If an animal dies out here, it it can't be state certified. It has to be, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I don't know the Oklahoma state law, but if, if an animal dies and then you take it to the processor, um, I don't know if it can be certified. It's just like his mom. Right here. Well, Norse bull. Good though, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Come on, stick over here. Come on, Lumpy. <laughs> you got one all by yourself over here, man. It's hard to imagine much bigger because it looks pretty rough. Now that we've caught up on the lumpy update, it's time to check in on the original herd.
forcing the feet out. Something else. Hey rooster. Something else I noticed is that they were eating minerals. So I'm gonna put a bag of uh, bison 90 out for them, Redmond Minerals, and uh, see what they think about it. They may be cringing for for some minerals during this time of the year. So I'll try that. We'll take the other half to the big herd. Yeah. Oh. Calves are at least taken care of. Come here, Maya. Watch, she'll go over there and see. See if she licks it. A little taste of it. <laughs> well, that's good. They uh, they drank their water. Maya, come here. It gives them a little boost, a little, I guess, uh, a little help uh, to get through the winter because we're close to getting to getting uh, to getting through winter. But here in Oklahoma, it could be. You know, 80 degrees one day and the next day it could be below zero. And Even in the same day recently, there's been 40, 50 degree temperature swings up yes, here. Yes, and, and that's hard. That's hard on us as humans. That's when we get sick and, uh, you know, bison, bison do the same thing. So uh, animals, all livestock do the same thing. So we try to just help them and give them a little bit of extra love. Eating a lot of their feed, they'll eat some more feed once we leave. Got some trace minerals out for them now. So, Redmond 90, or Bison 90 by Redmond, we put some of that out, so. And they're actually eating it as soon as I put it out, so that's a good sign. She, she was like, mm. Those two right there are the ones I'm just gonna keep. Those two heifers, the ones we raised. these guys.
got some other exciting stuff in celebration of 100,000 subscribers. We have another channel. It's called Bison Clips Channel, Cross Timbers Bison Clips Channel. You guys can check it out. It's a lot of good highlights over the past couple of years and it's short videos. If you want to get straight to a lot of the videos, my buddy Cole is putting a lot of these clips together and you can check them out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Just more views of the bison and clips version. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, we got work to do, come on. Those are baby skunks. Thanks. They're kind of cute, but I don't know if they can spray or anything. We might need to Google that before we... We need to Google that. <laughs>